who's the chair of Emerge Albany, a group of young professionals in Albany. Now, we just finished talking about what Emerge Albany does and the second Friday luncheons, which are probably the most popular event, but they also do a lot more. So let's get into that. Number one, volunteer opportunities. Tell me, what does the group do? We have, on many, many occasions, all the time, have nonprofits that come and ask for our volunteering. So we always have a sign-up sheet. We always make sure we let everybody know via Facebook, via email, and as well as at the second Friday luncheons where we can have these volunteering opportunities to help our Albany area community. And one of the biggest ones is coming up and it is the annual blood drive. Yes. Tell me, why is this so important, especially to Emerge Albany? Well, it's important. It's our third annual um, Emerge Albany blood drive. We have paired with American Red Cross and who doesn't need more blood? Who doesn't need to give more blood? So May 16th at the Welcome Center in downtown, we're going to have our third annual Emerge Albany Blood Drive. Please come out. They're going to be here from morning to afternoon. And just come and donate, and there'll be snacks. And it's another great way to meet other young professionals, do more networking, and just see how the little things that you do help our community. And now that event is not only for young professionals. Anyone who wants to donate Anyone blood can come out. Anyone who wants to come. Okay, absolutely yes. wonderful. Now there are also other volunteer opportunities. I know last year I volunteered with the Merge Albany to help out at Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. So a bunch of us were stationed at the different gates around yep. town. We took money, welcomed people into Albany. Yes. We also got, it was kind of a, a team bonding experience. Mm -hmm. So tell me why, in addition to the formal you know, meetings and luncheons, why is it good to have volunteer opportunities where you can also bond? Well, you want to get out there. You don't want to just do this one thing every month. You want to get out there. You want to show your face. We want the Albany area to see that we're out here working as well. And we, that's another great way to meet people is to say hi and say hello and just welcome them. Absolutely. Yes. Now, it's not all professional development and volunteering. We like to have fun. Again, yes. we are young professionals. So <laughs> tell me about some of the social events that the group does. We do a lot of the Albany Area Chamber of Commerce social events. We go to Business After Hours every month. We do the Nights at Downtown that is sponsored by the Downtown Albany Area. And we have our annual Float the Flint. So we do a eight mile canoe ride on the beautiful Flint River Very fun. every summer, yes. We also do a lot of festivities, just social hours, social evenings. We like to go out, we want to hang out. We want to have a good time in a social evening on a Friday night, Saturday night. So it's not just all professional development, it is also having a good time and getting to know everybody on a more relaxed level. Which is so important, because a lot of times you hear about young professionals moving to Albany, not knowing who to get connected with or wanting to connect with other people who have similar or different backgrounds, because mm -hmm. it is a diverse group of people. Yes, some very are, diverse. Some are married, some are single, some are grad students, some, some are parents. have jobs, parents. So, you know, different backgrounds, some from out of state, some from in town, but. Mm -hmm great group of people if you would like to get involved with emerge albany there is a contact sheree is sheree, that right? douthit. sheree douthit from the chamber of commerce she's the liaison between emerge albany and the chamber of commerce so if you just call the chamber you can get in contact with emerge albany and angela we covered just about everything right i think so all right well thank you so much for thank joining you for us having for having me interview. we certainly appreciate it again emerge albany is albany's young professional organization if you're interested 40 and under make sure to contact the albany area chamber of commerce Angela Rivera, who works at Chiha, but she's also the chair of Emerge Albany. Thank you so much for being here Thank with you us. for having me. Now, one thing I have to say is I am a member of Emerge Albany, which is a group of young professionals, and I'm on the board. So full disclosure right there, which is one of the reasons I invited Angela on. So tell me first, what is Emerge Albany? Emerge Albany is a group of young professionals. We're a branch of the Chamber of Commerce. We started about a few years ago with five, seven young professionals around the table wanting to enhance their professional development, wanting to find an appreciation for the Albany area. And now, a few years later, we have over 100 young professionals that we see and we network with and we keep in contact with. And it's just a great group that we have so much support from the Albany Area Chamber of Commerce. And we just do everything that we can to show this appreciation for the Albany area and show how many young professionals are here okay. and that want to stay here. Now, let's define that for a second. When you say young professionals, there are a lot of wonderful professionals in the Albany area, but yes. specifically we're talking about those 40 and under. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so just want to clarify that for everyone out there. Now, not only is it part of the chamber, you enhance professional development, mm -hmm. we're also cultivating an appreciation for the Albany area. And one way we do that is through meetings once yes. a month, which are called our second Friday luncheons. Tell me a little bit more about those. 
That's really what we're known for the most is our second Friday monthly educational lunches. We usually have about between 50 to 65 young professionals join us and there's a business owner that comes and speaks and it's a sponsored lunch and we have our lunch with them and they tell us about their company, tell us about their business, but they also educate us on how to be a better young professional and grow in the careers that we want to grow in. And we, it's, it's a great place to have network. It's a great place to meet other uh, young professionals from all around the Albany area. And we also invite other uh, chamber members to come and see what we're all about, yeah. to see what we do on a regular basis and not just be a part of this Albany Area Chamber of Commerce. Now one thing is, like you mentioned, there is a business or a company, a school, an organization mm -hmm. that sponsors these luncheons. It's not just sponsor the lunch, pay the fee for the lunches, which by the way is affordable, um, and promote your brand. It's a little bit more than that. Tell me why a business, maybe a business owner out there watching right now, would want to sponsor and get their message out, their word, and talk about their organization to a group of young professionals in Albany. Why would they want to? They want to because they want to get their name out there. They want to get these young professionals involved with their business and see what they're doing and they can learn. We can learn as young professionals and be new entrepreneurs. We can learn from them having their own business. And not all of them talk about their own business. A lot of them come in um, women's health groups, Procter & Gamble, mm -hmm. um, various businesses, and they also give almost mini workshops. Yes. Why do they give mini workshops? To give the young professionals in attendance skills they can take back to their workplace. Yes, they, that's what they want to do for us. A lot of these speakers that come with their business, such as P&G or um, Women's Professional Healthcare, they come and they have young professionals in their business. So not only are they teaching their people and their employees, but they're also teaching us. And you can always learn something new at every second Friday educational luncheon. All right, sounds good. We're going to have much more with Angela Rivera from Emerge Albany coming up right after the break.